And with that, let's welcome all those that have may, uh, may have just joined us on the live stream. We are still on site here at the Brent Event Center, Irvine, California, for the post-fight press conference at Bellator MMA's premiere live on Spike. Our premiere on Spike. Uh, it was a big night for us. I talked to the guys at the weigh-in. Um, we had a conversation that I had with guys at the weigh-in, and, and man, did they deliver. It just first and foremost, I want to thank the fighters. This was an unbelievable night. And from the guys who defended their world titles to the guys who fought in the first round of this 205 tournament to the guys who fought on Spike.com to kick off the night, just, uh, hey, all, you know, all praise to you guys. This was a spectacular night. Congratulations and thank you guys for the performances you put on inside that cage. We gave a lot of thought to where we would kick off this event, and we figured we would do it really in, in the mecca of mixed martial arts, Orange County in Southern California, and we assumed we would get a boisterous, loud, excited crowd that knew MMA, and we did. So uh, my third thank you goes out to the crowd that was there tonight, just making a ton of noise and having a lot of fun. I hope we gave you guys a really good show. So um, next out of the box, congratulations for a first round tournament win, Emmanuel. A great fight, a spectacular performance. Congratulations on, uh, on making your way to the semifinal round. I just want to thank Bellator, you know, for uh, always uh, treating me good and, and, you know, having me out here to, you know, perform to my best of my ability. Um, I want to thank my opponent, uh, Tellus, uh, you know, coming down here and taking the fight. Uh, you know, strong boy, you know, came to get some, you know, uh, got a little brawly with me, you know, so it was, it was cool, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm just glad I could finish him and glad I could move on. Uh, and thank everybody from Bellator for having me and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be back again. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank you. Uh, first, I want to be sorry. Uh, my English is also <laughs> and uh, thanks uh, for the author, especially Mr. Paul Hardy, uh, for the chance which they give to me to be here and to show what I can. But I'm so sorry that it's not uh, the best what I can. And I hope so to get another one chance. <laughs> thank you so much. Next up in our quarterfinal round of 205, Jacob, uh, great performance, spectacular night, uh, great quick finish against a very, very talented fighter. So congratulations on a big win. We'll see you in the semifinals. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to uh, Bellator for having me. Uh, thanks to California for uh, giving us good hospitality. Um, you know, I, I get my hat goes off to Seth. He's a tough guy. He caught me with a good shot. Um, but, I, you know, I'm kind of known for my chin, so, you know, uh, I think I did good against the cage and my wrestling and stuff, but um, once again, thanks to Bellator for having me, and I'm looking forward to uh, round two. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone for coming out, uh, supporting us. Thank you, Bill, for having me on the debut of Spike. That's a huge deal. Um, it means a lot to, to me to have me on there. I appreciate that. Um, I apologize to all the fans, to everyone out there that expect me to do a little better. Um, I won't make excuses. If you know me, you know um, kind of what happened to me and whatever. Um, but whatever happened, happened, and I'll come back stronger next time. Thanks, guys. Uh, Mikhail Zayats, great performance tonight. Babalu was, uh, he isn't with us right now, but um, a terrific performance against a guy who is uh, a huge name and a legend in MMA and has had some um, major, major fights and some huge wins. But congratulations on a really big win tonight. We're looking forward to seeing you in the semifinals. <laughs> На английском языке. Большое спасибо президенту Герну, что дал мне шанс выступить. И я продал его надежды. И спасибо менеджеру, который все это организовал. Спасибо вам, что пришли, посмотрели, и я показал хороший бой. Uh, first of all, my apologies that I uh, couldn't address to you in English. I would like to thank uh, Bjorn and Belter for having me here, and I really would like to thank the crowd today. I would like to thank Californians, California for the cheers, for the support, and I'm glad that I didn't disappoint you tonight, that I showed a good fight. Thank you. Pat, you continue to evolve as a mixed martial artist. Your skill set just gets bigger and bigger. Um, you're, you're, every facet of your game is just getting stronger and stronger. I've said it many times, I think you're one of the better fighters in all of mixed martial arts. I don't just talk about it in terms of 145, so um, congratulations on a huge win. You just continue to impress, and, and the, the way you've moved through this system at Bellator, the way you moved from 55 and won that tournament, and through 45, and then ended up taking the title and, and your defense, it's just a spectacular performance. You're looking at one of the best mixed martial artists in the game today, so congratulations, Pat, on a big yeah, boy.
Spike gave me the opportunity for fighting for Bellator, gave me the first shot, first fight on Spike. You know, I really hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I wanted to go out there and, and just put on the best performance I could. And, you know, I, I couldn't have done it without my team, my support, my family, you know, everybody, all my teammates. You know, thank you very much. And, uh, I, you know, I, I'm very, very seldom, if you've ever heard me talk very seldom, am I at a loss for words, but um, I, I assumed and I looked at these two guys and I recognized, I thought we had two of the best 155 pounders in the world going up against each other in the main event of the show. You know, we had 180 fighters to choose from in terms of who would be the quote unquote main event on this show. And we really thought we picked the two best fighters we had in the organization, a world title fight that I thought was a pick em fight. And uh, Michael, your, your game just is, is reaching a level in terms of speed and athleticism and the utilization of your wrestling, your punching power, your transition, every aspect of the game is just reaching a, a, a really elite, elite world-class level. I think you're looking at somebody here who is, like Pat, just special at the very, very top of the game. And Rick Hahn, um, you've been amazing inside of our cage. Put on spectacular performances and uh, has brought heavy hands down from 170 to 155 and I believe is a hugely talented fighter who you will in all likelihood see back in this position challenging for a world title in the not too distant future. But. Um, Michael, just an unbelievable performance tonight against a world-class opponent. Congratulations on a huge win. Thank you very much, Bruno. Yeah, first of all, um, I'd like to thank Rick for, for stepping in the cage. Um, very honored to, to step in the cage with a guy who's uh, represented our country in the Olympics. It's a very, very huge feat, and I, uh, you know, I love it. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, thank you for, for Bell, to Bellator and Spike for putting on a great show. Um, I'm just so humbled by the, the amount of support that I have. Uh, friends and family, everybody coming out. Man, I love, love fighting for you guys. I love training for you guys every single day. Um, I'm excited to keep fighting. Um, I want to thank all my training partners and coaches at Alliance Training Center. You know, like I said, you can talk about my athleticism. You can talk about um, whatever. But, you know, if I, don't, if I don't have my training partners and my coaches, um, I don't step into that cage and win. So... My hat's off to all of them. Um, thank you guys so much. I just want to say thank you to, uh, to Michael. Um, it, was, it was an awesome fight. Um, uh, I'm happy to be able to, to fight for a world title. Uh, I came up short today, but um, you know, like I said in, in previous interviews, uh, whoever would make the first mistake would uh, you know, probably would be caught. And uh, I made the first mistake and got caught. So. That's fighting. Um, I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to learn from it and um, keep moving forward. And, and uh, I want to say thank you to Bjorn and Bellator for, for giving me the shot. Uh, our, us, uh, the main event shot. Um, it's a privilege. And uh, thank you all for, for showing up. Appreciate it. You know, I wasn't really surprised. I was expecting him to, you know, if he was going to come out me, I mean, really hard, I was ready for it. But I knew that this was a five round fight. And, you know, this was his first five round fight, too. So I knew he needed to uh, pace himself because he has been. Uh, gotten tired in the past, so I knew that was in the back of his head, but um, yeah, I was very surprised. He, uh, he took his time, got his timing down, you know, we had back and forth, you know, strikes, and, you know, he has, has a really tough chin, so, you know, my, uh, my head goes off to Pitbull, and, and just thanks thanks for uh, having a great fight with him. Um, yeah, I, uh, I knew I was landing the harder shots, but, um, you know, during the fight, I really didn't know if I was up, I was down. You know, my corners were telling me to mix, mix it up, go for the takedown, try to secure the round, and um, just kind of change the game up a little bit. But um, I did attempt to shoot in on, on, on the fifth round. I felt his, uh, his defense, and I just wanted to keep the strength standing. And I felt like I was doing the more damage um, from the striking position. So, uh, No, I, I always say, I mean, every single fight's the biggest fight of my life. I mean, I, 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 I'll start off by saying it's an honor, and it was awesome to fight on Spike. Uh, on a huge show like this, but you know, um, you know, with my training, I, I train every single day like it's my last, and uh, you know, I didn't feel that extra pressure uh, because I knew I did everything that I possibly could do coming into this fight to go out there and perform at a high level. So I knew I was going to put on a great show, um, no matter what, no matter if I won, lost, or uh, you know what happened. But um, you know, no added pressure. But it, it was definitely, like I said, it was electric in there. Uh, thank you to the, the Southern California fans for. Uh, you know, being loud and being, you know, being crazy. So it was, it was awesome, and I can't wait to go watch it. Uh, you know, watch it back in HD on Spike. 
Uh, yeah, no, it was it was it was definitely good to get that first title defense under my belt, and uh, you know, can't wait. Uh, Marcy and Hell, Dave Jansen, can't wait for them to get it going and uh, see who I fight next. You know, I'm ready. I'll be in the gym next week. Actually, I'm going to Columbia, Missouri to wrestle with the Mizzou Tigers uh, here in a couple days. So yeah. I'll be getting uh, I'll be getting uh, you know getting more work in. Um, feel good. Got a little black eye. My foot hurts a little bit, but other than that, man, it's it's time to just keep on this journey and. Uh, like I said, I can't wait to defend the belt again, and I'm ready. Um, I felt in control. I felt um, composed. I felt ready. Um, obviously, you know, you saw me in the very beginning of my career. I ran forward. And I threw punches. I picked people up and I slammed them, and, and that was the, you know, that was the, the, the goal I had. And my heart was racing a thousand beats a minute, and uh, that's that's exciting. And I want to keep that. I want to keep that kind of pressure. I want to keep that kind of style and that hard nosed mentality, and, and literally break people. Who knows? I don't know where my, my style is going to continue to go and go and grow. And all I know is I just want the best lightweight in the world. And wh however I get there, you know, that's that's how it's going to be. So, uh, you know, I, I I always try to take the CEO hat off and not think so much about television. I try to divorce myself from that aspect of it. And just watch it from a fan's perspective. You know, and I get I've got the greatest seat in the house. Um, and, and as a fan, I enjoyed it. I thought it was great fights. I mean, it started off with a back and forth battle and then we had, you know, we had a great finish and then we had a, an, another unbelievable finish and another finish. So it just, from a fan's perspective, I, I enjoyed the night. You know, I've got to go back and look at it. I'll have to check out the DVD and watch it, see you know, technically what it looked like, but the energy level was there. The fights were there. Everybody stepped up and delivered. I mean, the fighters just brought it completely in totality. So. Um, I felt good about it. You know, I felt real good about it. You know, came off on two hours. Our East Coast fans at 12 o'clock, boy, the, the fights were over and, the, and it was done. So it, it felt good.